I would like to ask uh, Colonel Nakalima to come up and just give you the assurance that she's there to protect your investment. Taylor made for you, because <laughs> I just read an article. Distinguished past participants, honorable ministers, ex executive officers of the biggest companies in the world, it is my pleasure to stand here and uh, assure you that in Uganda we are leveraging technology under the leadership of His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda and he appointed me and like my name has been mentioned, Kano Edith Nakarema is my name and I head the State House Investors Protection Unit and um, the, the pleasure I have is that I am I got the chance to be trained by by her majesty, the Queen's government, now the King's, King Charles's government. And so I take uh, time as a very, very critical and, and the best uh, element that we need to run with. So um, in Uganda, His Excellency the President guided and we are leveraging technology to ensure that there are no delays in uh, accessing the, the investment process in Uganda. And we are ensuring that every investor that comes in Uganda, you don't have to fast travel to ask which sector or which office to start with. So allow me to show you the Uganda's Electronic Investors Protection Portal, which you can access online, wherever you are, our distinguished investors that we need most in our country. So Uganda's Electronic Investors Protection Portal all you need is to go to it to get its link, and its link is protection.statehouseinvest.go.ug, and you access it online, wherever you are, at your convenience. And the first thing you need to know is just clicking on the word services. All important ministries, departments, and agencies in the investment sector or that support and protect investment, you access them on the Uganda's electronic portal at your convenience. Investing in Uganda, click on it, you will get to the one-stop center of Uganda Investment Authority and all other sectors, are, you, you find them there. The worth of investment, and we have already been guided that uh, what is disturbing some investors are the unnecessary bureaucracies or delays. And that's why His Excellency the President put up this electronic investors protection portal, put a unit which I had, and we ensure that all investors that access the portal or come to us physically when they, once they are in Uganda already, both local and foreign, we ensure that there are no delays, and we give them a chance to do due diligence before they invest any resources. So um, this is the, are we, yeah. The one-stop center shows you all opportunities, what has already been achieved through investment and, and all other requirements that business of your, a name of your choice. And you don't have, you can open an account, you can do everything to register your business at convenience. We, you don't have to look for for any human being, because sometimes wrong elements take advantage of, um, of the physical interaction. So we are eliminating the wrong elements by giving you services and ensuring that you get to authentic offices of government. Next is, uh, we're exploring Uganda and the, the Uganda Tourism Board, the CEO is around, but Uganda is a beautiful country, and uh, so we don't have to go back to, to, to show you what it is. That one, we invite you to come and tour it physically, but here we are talking about what facilitates investment, eliminating the delays, and ensuring that uh, investors are protected, are supported, and facilitated in any way that, is, that they need to. Next is working in Uganda, and, uh, and that one is under my, my, my boss, the Director of Citizenship and Immigration, who is present here, you register your business online. And uh, of course, we are, we are together with our top boss, the Permanent Secretary, Lieutenant General Musanyi, who is also our, my teacher. And um, so, 
you can get your work permit, you can get everything you need online. Again, we are, we are ensuring that there are no delays and you don't have to be diverted by wrong elements in any way. Next is uh, the Uganda Revenue Authority portal where you, you can uh, know which, tax, which incentives you, that any investor may get depending on their capacity or their wish, but also which taxes are paid by who and at what level. Uh, we go back to other services. In other words, we are bringing, all, we brought together all ministries, departments, and agencies that support, that facilitate investment in Uganda, leveraging technology to ensure that the wrong elements are completely eliminated. And uh, the, the, the main four functions of the portal include guiding investors to authentic government ministries, departments, and agencies, or leaders generally, by ensuring that there are no no diversions. Reporting mechanisms. This portal has, um, when you click on, on the reporting mechanisms, you will access short forms. You can, you can complain, but you can also compliment. So we, 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 we offer online uh, services of reporting complaints, but also ensuring that whatever you have re reported as an investor is fast tracked and we ensure that we answer we answer all questions on time. We also have live chats. So you can chat with our offices at your convenience, uh, distinguished investors. And it's our, it's our duty to ensure that whatever is reported is, fat, is fast tracked. This invest, Uganda's electronic investors protection portal is a, a monitoring tool for His Excellency the President to ensure that all ministries, departments, and agencies fast track whatever investors need because it, it keeps a record of whoever does not do their work at the right time. So the president monitors all that we do um, to, to ensure that investors are well protected, are well supported, and facilitated by having all services that they need. You could play that video. It's just one less than a minute. And delay decision making. And the minister was saying both of them raise the cost of doing business in Uganda. So I am using this paper day. can read directly. If anybody asks them for a bribe or delays a decision, don't delay any decision, don't ask for a bribe, assist the world to get that. But we were all warned by His Excellency the President, having heard that the, the issue of corruption was touching the investors, and so there are no more delays, no more diversions, because you go online, and we are there, and I used to head the anti-corruption unit, which is now headed by my senior, Brigadier General Henry Soke. So the issue of fraud, which has been mentioned here, we are handling it in Uganda, and we are ensuring that technology takes over and we, so, so that investors are well protected and supported. We could play that video and, and I finish. Hello, Kanu Nakarema is my name. main functions. It provides guidance to authentic government ministries, departments, and agencies, and that's a way of protecting investors from falling in the hands of wrong elements or the corrupt. The second function is 
it provides mechanisms for reporting or making inquiries. The third function is it provides feedback and also ensures enforcement. Investors are being harassed for bribe. That's why I have appointed Nakale Manau to handle that side of the, of the investor. In conclusion, Uganda's president has put investors as his key priority, the protection, the guidance, and the support of investors, and that's why he established the State House Investors Protection Unit to ensure that the investors are effectively guided protected from the corrupt and supported by all government ministries, departments and agencies in collaboration with the private sector. I thank you. And um, say that whoever had ever been asked or if anyone so listed for a bribe, we are here and that's why again His Excellency the President appointed me because in the army or in the military we don't we don't allow evil to, to spoil what is good. We shall fight the, the, the corrupt as we promote investors, leveraging technology, and ensuring that there are no more delays. I thank you, distinguished guests. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I, I think for the, for the investors here, I think you are assured and reassured. Another topic that we didn't touch about, I think uh, the PSST didn't mention, in Uganda you can bring your money, make it, and take it out. No one's going to ask you where you're taking it. Most people, because of the security, leave it there. But uh, be sure you bring it, make it, take it away, and it is protected. So on that... Hello, Kanu Idithana Karema is my name, and I head the State House Investors Protection Unit. The unit was established by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. On the 13th of December 2023, His Excellency the President commissioned an electronic investors protection portal, which is a platform that is online and its link is protection.statehouseinvest.go. .ug. The portal has four main functions. It provides guidance to authentic government ministries, departments and agencies, and that's a way of protecting investors from falling in the hands of wrong elements or the corrupt. The second function is it provides mechanisms for reporting or making inquiries. The third function is it provides feedback and also ensures enforcement. Investors are being harassed for bribes. That's why I have appointed Nakare Manau to handle that side of the, of the investors. In conclusion, Uganda's president has put investors as his key priority, the protection, the guidance, and the support of investors. And that's why he established the State House Investors Protection Unit to ensure that the investors are effectively guided protected from the corrupt and supported by all government ministries, departments and agencies in collaboration with the private sector. I thank you.